there are two ways that you look at risk. Everything that you may get versus everything it might cost you. But there are also two ways that you look at failing. Everything that you're going to give up on and everything that you're going to lose and everything that's going to go wrong when you tank hard versus all the learning and experience that you picked up along the way. And those two things are actually easy because there are two ways that you also look at loss. Everything that you lost, everything that was out of your control versus all of the opportunities that are now opening up in front of you. There are always two ways that you can look at everything. And if you're like me, you probably think that this is baked into us. You know, you are a good person or a bad person. You're a pessimist or a negative. You're happy go lucky or you're sad and dour and in a bad mood all the time. We probably think that's baked into us, but I have good news for you. You can learn how to change. You can become more positive and you too can find happiness. So here is where you get to decide. You get to decide. You can be anyone that you want to be. You get to pick who you are, your persona. You get to pick what you stand for and what you want to work towards. You get to decide this. This is not predestined. This is not destiny telling you who you are. This is not good or bad luck. This is a decision and it's on you. So what are you going to do with this decision? You can tell yourself that you're a huge loser who made this massive mistake that you will never ever be able to recover from, or you can tell yourself that you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not strong enough, you don't have the experience, you don't have what it'll take, and if you try this, if you take on this risk, it will cost you everything. Or you can tell yourself that this loss that you're facing is so painful and so serious and so dire that you will never be able to find yourself on the other side, that you're not going to grow having worked through it, that you're not going to turn into a brand new version of yourself, having faced it, having worked through it, and having won. Because no matter what, winning or losing, risking it all, or failing in front of friends and family and loved ones, or facing serious loss, through all of this, this is a gift. Your perspective is a gift, and the decision on how you receive this gift and what you do with this is 100% yours. No matter the risk, or the failure, or the loss, or the things that you did or didn't do or should have done, no matter any of that, who do you want to be? You have been given a gift of experience and knowledge and insight. Who do you want to be? You have been given the opportunity to start something new, to fix what's broken, to take on that next challenge. Who do you want to be? Because no matter the challenge you face, you have to ask yourself that question. Who do you want to be? Because I think you want to be the type of person who doesn't lose. I think you want to be the type of person who finds opportunity in any situation and any time life throws a curveball at you. Boom. Scripted. Done. Drop the mic. We need to throw. No matter what you face, you are going to make mistakes and you have to get over it. If you want to learn from me and Louie how to do that, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot and I will see you there.